So for today's video, we have Ascendant Council. I will just explain to you guys what my thought process is behind my movements and what I'm doing here. For the poll, you just get to the SND off. Make sure that Blade Fury is active the moment you have them together. You wanna AR right away, obviously. The killing spree, I would suggest to do it on the red because Ignatius kind of jumps and comes back. And while that happens, do not eviscerate if she's not there yet. You wanna use it when they're both stacked again. Here is where I should have killing spread, but I just, I don't know, I was zoned down and I didn't do it. I was kind of focused on the glaciate because I have to run out on that one. Sadly, we can't cloak it. This was such a mess because both bosses cast it at the same time as well. But as a rogue, especially since the debuff is on the wrong target maybe sometimes, and you have your debuff or the insight on a different target, you shouldn't worry about that, because whichever buff you have, it will always hit the other target anyways, so you don't have to, you know, stress it at all. As you can see here, I'm hitting Ignatius while Flodius is the target, because I have fire, and Ignatius is fire, so it wouldn't make sense that I have damage done to it. But once that happens, the buff doesn't really matter anymore, so you can just dispel it off the guy who has it. So here is where uh, my favorite, like, as a rogue you can just ignore everything, besides the orb, obviously. So you just want to do the orb alone, and then just faint everything else. So here we're going to have quake in 5 seconds, you're going to see that I'm using faint. And boom, I only take 66k damage, just like everyone else, and I didn't even bother taking the tornado. Which is a lot of DPS loss if your tanks are being like actual monkeys and just, you know, not running properly around. Like here, right now, it's a bit of a mess, but not the worst, I would say. It's just that the tank stays there for so fucking long and he ruins everything there. And as you see, I got the orb there. Not a big deal, I handle it. And even with the orb griefing me, I still got a rank 13 on this boss fight, which is insane. But since I got the grounding debuff here, I just didn't bother with fainting, which is, you know, irrelevant. Why would I faint? You could also cloak the rod. I'm not sure what the fuck I cloaked before. I can't recall why it's on cooldown, which is weird. I usually always keep my cloak for rod. Also, one thing to tell you guys is that her front is massive it's like almost to the side of her and if you go in front of that you parry a lot so like just mimic this position i'm doing right now you're behind her but not really and at the same time you're on the side as well so like down left of the screen pretty much you want to position yourself this way so the range doesn't get the chain lightning and you don't really get parried either You can killing spree as long as you have a faint before it here. It's not a big deal, you don't die to the ability. So don't stress it if you thought you would die or anything. Just send your killing spree, it's not gonna be a problem. As you can see here, I'm just sitting in one and it's not a big deal at all. Obviously I almost died, but if you faint here, you're not gonna have an issue. But anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you guys in the next one.